Hello and welcome and in today's very uh, short video um, I'm going to be speaking about a um, milling attachment that I um, purchased from the USA uh, recently um, made somewhere around about the uh, 1960s mark now back in the 60s um, most shops would have had a, a, a universal milling machine, you know, something like a Kernian Tracker or a Doofer or a A-Bean, Huron, Cincinnati type machine. Um, basically a big heavy um, horizontal machine that, that had a vertical um, head attachment that, that could be put on there, you know, so you can do, um, you know, com conventional milling. But the biggest drawback was that um, most of those uh, heads had a maximum speed of 12 or 1500 RPM, so um, not a great deal of use if you actually wanted to do um, uh, small milling, uh, you know, you know, with small cutters, you know, eight, three sixteenths quarter. I mean, really, the the um, the spindle speed wasn't uh, wasn't fast enough. So um, uh, what they tended that what they brought out were several um, attachments that you could actually fit into your um, spindle and and would increase the uh, the the cutter speed. Um, this is what I purchased, uh, and I'll uh, now turn you around to the bench and I'll uh, show it to you and and then uh, describe how it works. So join me over at the bench and we shall uh, get into the matter. See you soon. Bye. Right, so um, what we are seeing here is the uh, item that I actually purchased from the USA. This is um, made by made in France back in the around about the sixties, and they call it a a bracer. Um, I mean, there's there's other thing, there's other um, uh, ones of them around. I, 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 I think they're called bi a uh, bi six is another one. But so what you have here is is a um, is the shank that goes into the spindle. Now they are available in in um, uh, International 30, International 40, Morse Taper 2, 3 and 4, uh, two Sobin spindles and also um, the Bridgeport R8. So the idea of it is, is, is that you put this into your uh, spindle, there's a, there's a little uh, screw on the side here which normally you, you, you would screw in um, two extension handles so that you, you, uh, you rest it against the machine. Um, and what you actually have is, is this is a this is a uh, planetary ball system uh, in here. And the idea is, if I if I hold the back there, one t one rotation of the of the spindle here increases it to six times here on 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 the cutter size. We can make that out. See, I'm only moving this what uh, half a turn, and you can see the whole the whole here whistling by. Um, so it increases it by. Um, uh, up to six times so obviously you know if you've got a a, 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 tw uh, a, a thousand rpm on your spindle you're going to get six thousand at the um on your cutter now this version i've got is uh is uh imperial collets it's uh eight three sixteenths a quarter and five sixteenths and the metric version was uh three millimeters four millimeters six and eight millimeters so um i say generally um you screw an extension uh, handle on here to touch against the machine just to stop it rotating. I'm not going to be using that for two reasons. First, the main one is when I purchased this it didn't actually come with the with the handles and I can't manufacture one unless I buy a tap because this is a seven millimeter thread and also I don't really want the um, the um, arm resting against the uh, the back of my, the uh, column so um, what I'll do is now is I'll um, uh, turn the camera around and show you it uh, mounted up in the machine. Uh, join me over the machine in a moment. Bye. Right, so uh, what you're seeing here now is the uh, unit fitted into the spindle and um, to stop the um, outer part rotating instead of the long handle which I haven't got is I've, I've manufactured up this, this aluminium ring which is clamped onto the um, uh, spindle uh, bearing locking ring and it's also got this part down here that, that's got a slot in the bottom to, 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 to stop this bit um, rotating so what I'll do is now is is I'll drop the camera down a little bit so that you can actually see the the uh, end mill going round I'll just lower that down the hopefully we're getting that down there and I will now um, Start the machine up, and this is uh, a, a, a 1100, 1100 RPM. I've got the spindle set for, and um, 
I've now started up and you'll see the way it whistles around uh, six times faster than that. Can we see that? We can, we, we can make out that you see this is, this is going around at a thousand now, but of course down at the bottom here this is, this is, this is going around at uh, just over six thousand. So um, it's quite a useful, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, addition to my um, milling. I mean, I, can, I mean, the, I'll just turn this off. Um, I mean, this this Bridgeport clone will do 2,700 at um, top speed, but uh, I don't like using it that because it's it's really you know it's it's really hammering the thing round. And I thought, well, you know, why not? Uh, you know, why why make the machine suffer a bit more than it has to? So uh, so I bought this attachment and uh, and use it and. and uh, well, try using that. I said I haven't actually um, used it yet. So as I said, I only, only managed to, to finish this attachment uh, in, in the week. So, um, well, I hope you found that uh, useful. I don't know whether it's, it's safe if you if you try looking for one. I, I searched for ages um, uh, looking for one. So I say another name that they're known by is is by six B Y S I X. Um, you know, because it because it's a six times speed increase. So anyway, we'll leave it as that. Um, you know, enough of my waffle. Um, hope you found this interesting. Thanks once again for watching. Um, please subscribe, ring the bell, click the likes, and uh, send me a comment. And until we meet on the next video, wherever you are in the world, please stay safe, well, and happy. And catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye.